Well, 238 wins and no longer counting. The shot over my shoulder was the scene after a district title and their first lone conference title since 1999 this past season. However, Schuyler County girls basketball head coach Thomas Kirkland announcing his resignation. This following public pushback on comments that he made involving transgender athletes in sports. Our Nick Todorovich with the latest tonight on this developing story. During last month's legislative session, Missouri lawmakers passed a bill that would prohibit most students Students ability to play sports that don't align with the biological sex listed on their birth certificate. The bill caused controversy statewide. We reached out to local coaches for their reaction. Schuyler County girls basketball coach Thomas Kirkland agreed to go on camera with us and shared these thoughts on May 17th. I think we welcome those people with open arms. Um, I, I think it's just difficult to wear the criticism you might take from others and, and uh, other areas thinking that you're uh, trying to um, do something that's not within the rule books, I guess. Uh, thinking you're taking a superior player that maybe was a better player as a male who wants to be a transgender athlete and play for the on the female side. After this interview aired, Kirkland sent us a statement the next day trying to retract his original opinion. His statement read, quote, the comments I made about transgender athletes were not a representation of Schuyler R1 schools. My statement was not consistent with the board policy and the Missouri High School Activities Association. I hope to be better educated on these matters before commenting in the future, end quote. Although Kirkland handed in his resignation Monday, a reliable source tells KTVO that he was actually relieved of his coaching duties last week. Questions are now being raised on whether his comments on transgender athletes led to his departure. When we compared his original statement with Schuyler County's transgender policy, the two were compatible. The board policy reads, quote, All students are entitled to a quality education in a safe environment. This belief extends to transgender students, that is, students who self-identify with a gender that is different from their biological sex. We contacted school board members and were redirected to Superintendent Kyle Windy. We asked him, why were Kirkland's coaching duties taken away? And in Kirkland's updated comment following the original story airing, Kirkland said his comments didn't follow board policy. Which board policy is Kirkland referring to? Wendy, a former coach himself, did not feel like answering any questions we had over the phone without speaking with the school district's attorney. Wendy said he would send us a written statement after he speaks with the district attorney Thursday. KTVO sent these two questions along with four more to his email Wednesday afternoon. There were also rumors that the Missouri State High School Activities Association, better known as MISHA, might have been involved in this firing. But I spoke with MISHA Communication Director Jason West and he said he doesn't believe this was true. He didn't think Kirkland's quotes violated any MISHA bylaws. To recap, we don't know why Kirkland's coaching duties were taken away. We know Misha says they were not involved in that decision. We also know Kirkland resigned to take another position elsewhere. We don't have any information on that job yet. There are still a lot of unanswered questions that we will hopefully get answered in Schuyler County's response Thursday. Nick Todorovich, KTVO News. And Schuyler County is expected to accept Kirkland's resignation two weeks from today. That's June 21st.